Good morning everyone, it is a beautiful sunny day and I am heading out for my morning walk. I'm wearing this very very cute set from Fabletic, I absolutely love it. Look how cute the back is, it's so cute and adorable. Um, obviously you guys know it is from Fabletic and I'm wearing this skirt that, I mean it's not a skirt, it's skirt. It has like shorts underneath. It's pretty much like a tennis outfit, but today I'm not going to tennis, even though I am starting tennis lessons next week, which I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, so yeah, I just got this in the mail and I was like, I need to wear it. I can't wait for my tennis lesson next week for me to wear it. So we're going to go on our morning walk. A piece of hair is attached to me. Let's get rid of that. I have not been on my morning walk in a very, very long time. And yeah, that's just not acceptable. So, oh my God, I forgot to make the couch from last night when I was watching TV. So excuse the mess. Uh, but yeah, I am ready to head out to my morning walk. I'm wearing my Nike's shoes. I have my morning coffee. I already had my first coffee, but I have a really, really bad headache. So we're going for the second one. I woke up super early today. I woke up at like 4.45 and I was not able to go back to bed um so i need my second cup of coffee and nothing boosts my boosts my mood like coffee good podcasts on fresh air so we're just gonna go enjoy all of that as i mentioned i haven't been on my morning walk in a pretty long time honestly i don't know like I mean, I do know, but there's not like one specific reason. The main reason is that I have been really, really busy and like a little bit anxious. And when I am anxious, I just like to do the things that are making me anxious. For example, if I have like a long to-do list and or I have a lot of things related to work that I need to get done. I forgot my lip balm and my lips are so dry and it's going to bother my soul. But anyway, um, when I have a lot of like work related things to do and like my to-do list is long, that gives me anxiety. And as soon as I wake up, for me to not have anxiety, I decide to just start on my to-do list and I don't unfortunately pri prior prior oh my god I'm having a glitch pri <laughs> priorize is that the word basically I don't put my walking or my workout as a priority uh, I can't believe I was having a glitch right there um, so yeah and unfortunately the morning walk becomes secondary which I'm trying to be better at it I'm trying to put it in my calendar at least three times a week um, if I can force myself to do it that would be fabulous I am actually starting tennis lessons as well which is going to be once a week and then I would love to go to Pilates again as well the Pilates place that I used to go um, the hours don't work with my hours with the instruction instruct instructor <laughs> that i want i'm actually having a glitch this morning um so that place i cannot go but there's another location that i've heard great things about the classes and one of my friends friend actually te teaches at that place so i might stop um i might start signing up there um she actually teaches there at, in the afternoons which usually works out better for me i usually try to be done with my to-do list by like 4 or 5 p.m because i know my brain is not going to work the same way um afterwards um so yeah uh, her classes are usually at 7 p.m so we'll do my best to actually um, schedule all of that in and if I have it in my calendar then it is going to be part of my like to-do list and actually I cannot postpone it like I'll do it I'm one of those people if I have something in my calendar it needs to happen like there's no postponing it there is no changing it which can be good and bad at the same time it is good because it forces me to do it it can be bad because I'm not the most flexible person when it comes to my schedule because when I wake up I look at my schedule that's what I expect from my day and if like it doesn't go according to plan it can mess me up so I'm a little bit type A when it comes to stuff like that so yeah that is that trying to get back on my working out schedule and all of that because to be honest with you I'm not feeling great 
if you're being completely honest I am not feeling fabulous and I would love to change that um, so that is that I am out of breath that's how much you know I have not been on my morning walk and I'm not even walking fast uh, so it's just the fact that I am walking and talking and just a tad bit of uphill so I am going to listen to my podcast and I will talk to you guys when I'm home I just got out of shower and I legitimately feel like a million bucks because I did everything shower and there's nothing like everything shower after an intense walk that was difficult like my body like my legs are shaky that's how tired my legs are and that's like kind of embarrassing for my soul because I used to walk like 10k every single day and I was barely able to do 6k today it's better than nothing very happy with the beginning result of it but i need to push myself just a tad bit harder um and i did everything shower i scrubbed off my tan i applied my tan again which is this one i just put it here um i have already talked about it many many times previously i think the last two three vlogs i keep mentioning this because it is really really good um i love how easily it is to remove it i love that you can apply on top of each other it's just this tanning mousse has my heart currently and I have like a pineapple meat to apply it. It's the brand, actually Ulta Beauty. Um, it was on sale, so who cares? It's cute. It gives the summer vibes, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I did everything shower. I applied my fake tan um, again. Um, I scrub off my tan, I applied it again. Um, and I love this tan for that as well because all my other tans usually with the first scrub they don't fully go away but this one it went away beautifully um it was hair wash day today as you guys can see and i just wanted to quickly show you guys what are the products that i use oh actually let me grab my shampoo and um hair treatment that i use in the shower and then um i'll tell you guys about the after shower products i know my hair care products are a little bit excessive but i promise you guys the combination of them all works fantastically for my hair my hair is at a very very healthy um state at the time being um i'm actually getting a like professional haircut by anya um this upcoming week which you guys know is it is not something that i do often i usually cut my own hair and this time around anya was like i'm not letting you do that you're just gonna come to the salon and i'm gonna cut your hair i was like sure if you promise me you're going to only get rid of like this much i know we need to cut a little bit more but let's just start with an inch pretty much but anyway here is the shampoo that i use this is the kerastase um strengthening shampoo resistance line absolutely love this i've talked about it many 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 times love the smell of it i love the hair mask of that one as well but currently oh my god these are all wet because i just took them out of shower uh but currently i am using this one this is colin rothschild quench and shine restorative mask love this mask the smell of it it's just everything about it beautiful if you're looking for a good mask to repair your hair that's a good one to go with totally forgot about this product before i applied the hair mask this is actually what i used this is the way hair gloss it's pretty much like a shampoo that adds a shine to your hair i don't use this on its own i have to use like a cleansing shampoo first and then this and just use this very very sparingly like very little amount of it goes a long way if you apply too much it can make your hair look a little bit greasy which obviously none of us are a fan of that um so uh yeah this is the three products that i use in the shower and when i come out of shower the first thing that i apply is the k18 which i know you're not supposed to apply hair mask and k18 together combination of it works better for me to be honest with you sometimes i skip it sometimes 
I apply the hair mask. This time around, I felt like my hair is a little bit dehydrated because I um, use the waver in my hair. Um, so I just felt like I need to add hydration back into my hair. So I use the mask and I also use the K18, which the, like this has been one of the best things that I have used in the past three to four years um, to bring my hair back to life. And then I use this Kerastase Heat Protectant thingy. I'm not sure how you pronounce it uh this is not only a um what do you call it heat protectant it also uh because it belongs to the blonde um absolute line uh it also helps uh with the blondness of your hair and it takes the brassiness away um then i used this way scalp serum which is for like thicker and healthy hair i love the smell of this one as well why am i out of breath um, and then the last step is this rusk thickening mist for like before I blow dry my hair. I love this. I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for 10 bucks, but I know Walmart has it as well. And this is one of the only like thickening and like volumizing products that does not make my hair dirty or crunchy. Most of them make my hair feel really, really like, I don't know, like sticky to the touch. But this one does not do that, even though I use quite a bit of it uh, i mainly focus it on the crown of my hair and then just a tad bit at the ends as well so when i'm blow drying my hair they have really nice like bounce to them so these are all the products that i use when i blow dry my hair i'm gonna use my gizu oil as well uh, but now let me just go apply my makeup and get ready for the day and then um, i want to do a little bit of actually styling session with you guys but first let me just do my makeup so i look a little bit more presentable <laughs> Styling my hair when it is wet is just is not a good idea. So my hair is not going to be uh, hairing. It is going to look like this for the remaining of the day. Um, I have to touch it up again tomorrow. But anyway, um, I am done with my makeup and my hair. Uh, my tan is slowly developing. So in like a couple of hours, my body will look like uh, my face. Uh, but um, I'm not dressed yet. And that has a very, very valid reason. And the reason is that um, if you follow me on Instagram, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a outfit that I recreated from Pinterest. And so many of you guys loved it. And I got so many DMs that um, you guys want uh, me to do more of that because um, you see an outfit on Pinterest and you don't know how to put them together or how to recreate it. The weather is all over the place. It is not hot like summer, but it is not like cold um, either. So it's very like in between spring and summer, especially if you live in LA. So a lot of people have been asking me a few outfit inspos uh, for like this transitional weather. So I just thought since you guys want to transition 
transitional pieces and also you love the idea of me creating recreating pinterest looks i just thought we can create few pinterest outfits together i have screenshotted a few that i personally really like um so i'm going to pretty much show you guys the outfit completely styled we choose bags accessories and all of that and then obviously i'll insert on the screen um the inspo picture obviously not everything will be 100 percent like the picture just keep it in mind these are just like i just take inspo it can be a piece or it can be um like the pieces but not the same colors so just keep it in mind that it can i'll try my best to recreate it to the best of my ability exactly like the picture but obviously i don't have the exact pieces that they have um and this is the biggest advice that i will give you guys as well sometimes you like an outfit on somebody else but for example they're wearing it in all pink and that's just not your vibe just recreate that with the colors that you were comfortable with so just keep that in mind um i'll again try to recreate it to the closest that i can with the pieces that i have but it, just keep it in mind that i'm taking inspo from this outfit so let's just start with the first one um i have not tried on any of these outfits literally i screenshotted them last night so this is going to be trial and error i'm really really hoping that i can come up with at least four or five um, looks for you guys so let me go get dressed for the first look so here is the first outfit and i absolutely love it so in the picture she's wearing white jeans but i don't have a white these are cream and also she's wearing white sweater which again i do not have i mean this is like this is kind of white, but I think it just pairs really, really nicely with uh, my jeans. Um, jeans are from H&M. My shoes are from Zara a couple of years ago. I think the shoes are pretty similar to hers. And this shirt is from H&M again a couple of years ago, but I think they do still have it. Uh, my sweater has a writing on it. I don't have any white um, sweaters that they don't have any kind of writing um, on them. So we're just going to go with it. And I think because the writing is in blue goes nicely with the shirt and her bag is Hermes and it's pretty big but I don't have any white bags with like top handles so this is the only one and I kind of feel like it goes with an outfit it makes it a little bit more ladylike and chic um, in the picture I can see that she's wearing oh my god my hair give me one second <laughs> why is my hair doing this there we go um so yeah in the picture i can see that she's wearing a pearl jewelry so i am wearing this pearl necklace that i have no idea to be honest with you where it is from i think this is from my sister's collection i am not sure but i'll link something very very similar and she's wearing small like dainty stud pearls but i personally like these ones more so i'm going to go with this ones these are argidanelli and um the glasses she's wearing one with gold frame so i just went with my amazon ones and i think this outfit is pretty spot on this is one of those outfits that i feel like i'll wear a lot when i'm out and about the only thing is i'm not obsessed with these jeans i just don't like the fit of it i like high-waisted jeans and this is like mid-rise um and just mid-rise is not my vibe to be honest with you i just don't think they look flattering but to create this look this is the only jeans that i had that was like similar to hers but overall I absolutely love this look and I can't wait to actually wear this out and about. When I tell you I am obsessed with this look, I am not joking, just the overall everything about it I absolutely love. But me being me, of course I love the hair situation. Look how cute and adorable. She's wearing a silk polka dot black and white, um, what do you call it, scarf, but unfortunately I don't have any. This is the only black one that I have. Um, it's like an organza scarf so I just wrapped it around and created like a ponytail with it which I personally love how effortless and chic it looks I went with these pearl earrings from Lulu's and my necklace is from Zara a few years ago I'll try to find something similar or something that she's wearing I can easily find it from Amazon so I'll link both of it for you guys my top is from um, H&M a couple of years ago uh, but again I'll link everything for you guys even if it's not the exact i'll link the similar one um belt is from h&m pants are from express and the bag is from amazon again and i am wearing my h&m flats i can't see exactly what she's wearing in the picture but i think she's wearing uh, 
black ballerina flats i'm wearing my ysl glasses as well and i love this outfit considering the fact that a few years ago i was not a black and white person i wear way too many black and white outfits and to be honest with you i think they're my favorite ones because every time that i wear black and white one i get so many compliments on my outfit and two i think they're very chic and sophisticated here is the next outfit and i think it's so cute and adorable i actually just got this vest from h&m like a couple of weeks ago i believe it's like a crochet i'm not sure what are these uh, fabrics called but it is so cute and adorable i absolutely love it it's so chic um so when i saw this style i was like okay this is a perfect style to um style this vest pretty much um so for earring i went with these gold ones because in the picture i saw that she's wearing gold earrings i have my sunglasses on top of my head just to create the same vibe and then we have the bag this is actually a new purchase from amazon it's so cute and adorable my jeans are from h&m and my flats are actually from h&m as well i just took out my jeans um, from the wash hence why they're a little bit tight and they're pushing but um as soon as i wear them for like an hour that will open up i have to do a little bit of this for them to open up a little bit because right now the hip and waist area is pushing but normally they're not like that actually they're one of my favorite and the most comfortable jeans that i own but yeah here is the outfit i really really like the entire look i think it's very chic and sophisticated if you're living somewhere that it is still cold and you need a little bit more layer you can add white blazer on top of this and the outfit will be golden here is the next outfit and i really really like it. I think this is one of those outfits that is going to work out some uh, like well for uh, people who still are experiencing a little bit of a colder weather because you can wear like a tank top underneath and if it gets like warm or like t-shirt whatever you're comfortable with and if it gets too warm you can take off the um what do you call it the jacket right now i'm not wearing anything underneath um, because i didn't see it in the picture that she was wearing anything so i just went with this cardigan that is from zara uh, but i will link the h&m version of it for you guys um, and then i'm wearing these shorts from h&m they're linen shorts my ballerina flats um, again from H&M, the boucle bag from Lulu's, I just think the boucle bag goes perfectly with the boucle shoes and this belt is from H&M as well, I think in the picture she's wearing a Celine belt and this one just gives the vibe and my glasses are YSL with these gold Bottega dupe earrings from Amazon I really really like this outfit, it's so chic and sophisticated and elegant I think in the picture actually she's wearing a black and white version um, of this cardigan mine is um, navy and white I don't know if the camera is picking up on it I need to do a better job of tucking this in but overall I'm a huge fan of French talk I just think it makes the outfit like casual but at the same time like casual chic but yeah here is the next outfit and I really really like it especially again for the days that it's a little bit more chilly it's the perfect one to layer. You have your shorts, but at the same time, you're warm with the cardigan. Here is the next outfit that I think it looks very, very similar to the original picture. And it's one of those outfits, again, that is perfect for a little bit of a colder weather. I am wearing my beige and black uh, ballerina flats from H&M. My jeans are from Express. Um, this cardigan is from H&M, but I know so many stores do it. The Amazon... Um, what do you call it? Um, sunglasses. The hair is not herring. Let's just pretend that it is looking very chic and sophisticated. Um, in the picture, she has a gray bag, but I don't have any gray bag, so I went with a black one. I just think it ties in nicely with the shoes. And again, this is one of those, um, what do you call it? Um, outfits that you can wear something underneath and just drape the cardigan over your shoulder if it gets hot you can take off your cardigan and if the weather is cold obviously you can wear your cardigan as a top and oh my god i just realized i didn't take a look at the earrings give me one second let me redo this she's wearing gold earrings so we're just gonna go with it it just goes with the vibe you know what i mean i know this is not like exactly like hers i can link something similar for you guys in the description box below that looks similar to it 
it but for the time being we're just gonna go with this one because i just think it goes with the vibe and i really really like this outfit it's very neutral and chic and again you can wear something underneath uh, so in case it gets warm you can take it off i love outfits like this that you can layer effortlessly during spring and summer um, and you have the option of like for example you know when you go out to dinner you want to wear like a like chic bodysuit that is like sleeveless but you want like to be safe if it gets cold you're not going to freeze i love outfits like this like jackets like this are so perfect for spring and summer because they work perfectly like as a top you can wear them if it's really really cold and you can just use them as a layering purposes hence why i have it in white black navy pink and the blue because to be honest with you i get so much wear out of them this is one of my favorite salads i mean if you consider it salad i'm not sure what you would call it uh, my mom made it few days ago and i've been obsessed with it ever since it's pretty much cucumber sour plum um i don't have fresh mint my mom used fresh mint um, but i used dried mint lemon juice a little bit of salt and that's about it it is so good and like so refreshing i'm like literally obsessed with it and i love how crunchy the sour uh what do you call it uh, sour plums make it it's so 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 good while sour plum is still in season uh, and you have access to it please um, try this and let me know if you love it as much as i do good morning everyone it is a beautiful sunny day the sun is shining it is so hot it actually feels like a summer day while i'm in the car let me give you guys an update on this um diptyque car air freshener obsessed absolutely obsessed the scent even is growing on me it is not as strong i closed the you know how you can control the thing i closed it so it is not as strong love the smell of it next time around i'm not gonna get this scent probably i'm gonna go for something that i already know and like but so far obsessed with it anyway let me turn on the car actually because it's really really hot i need a c i am up and ready and i am heading out to a place that i've never been before we are going to um where are we going i don't even know rose bowl flea market apparently it happens don't quote me on this because i'm not sure if my information is correct apparently it happens the second sunday of every month um and today's mother's day so i'm going to quickly go to that and we're doing um family dinner for mother's day today um so i'm pretty excited to actually go there i am looking for hold on a second um I am actually looking for like vintage furniture, vintage frames and all of that because I want to change a few bits and bobs in the house, like not fully, but I just want to change a few things because I feel like I'm really, really bored of our decor. I want to see if I'll be able to find a coffee table. I have no idea even if they do furniture. I've heard that they do furniture and for like getting the good deals, you're supposed to go there, go there at 5 a.m. Not that dedicated you know what i mean um and yeah just going for the vibes and that's about it i am waiting for my friend argonet to get here um, it's very interesting that i've been living in la for how many years have we been living here oh my god ever since 09 that's a long time uh, i don't know how i had never been to um this rose bowl flea market i don't know if had it if it has been going on for that long but i have heard about it for a very very long time and i don't know why i've never been there but anyway better late than never and by the way how cute are my earrings i showed this to you guys in my previous vlog these are my um uh, friends argonas earrings there are the um drop um earrings but in pearl i just felt like it is going very well with my outfit which i have not yet showed you guys my outfit but i did take a picture of it for my instagram so i'll just insert it here for you guys i got this top from zara like years ago and it was pretty like loose on me so my mom took a few inches in i mean it is still pretty loose but it's fine if it was a little bit tighter than this then it would have been way too cropped another thing i'm wearing linen pants how do you guys wear linen pants no matter what i wear it shows through i need to actually invest in the schemes um 
underwear that everybody raves about it i think that's the only product that i have not tried for this purpose i have tried so many different underwears shapewears and all of that and the weather is so hot i don't want to wear a shapewear uh, but it is so see-through I honestly don't know how do people wear it. So I think I have to try this Sims one. Um, so when I come back home, I'll put an order for that. But anyway, I am running late, so let's head out. Look at us disinfecting everything. Okay, sure. okay, the, like, like look how much it's like dirt how dirty it is. I consider myself as a person that doesn't have an OCD, but sometimes I call myself and I'm like, no, you actually have OCD. Like listen. Well see, this is the thing. Sometimes you know what I have OCD on? Oh. Environment. For example, if my desk is what happened? If my environment is um, like unorganized, like if on my desk it's I, like there, there's too many stuff, like for example, coffee cup, water, I don't know, like oh, food, yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that, or if it's like messy, for example, like I use my hand lotion on my desk and I put it aside. So just put it here. Um, like if it's like messy like that, I can't just work. I can't work because it's just. Uh, Oh my god, where's my I'm telling you, you've never given me your jewelry. I did. This is one of this the things yours. that I bought. So cute. Oh, we basically only this bought too. jewelry. So oh, this, this is one cute. of the rings. Boy, these are so cute. Which ones? Oh Stop. yeah, these are from the first store. This is one of the rings that I got. And oh. then we pretty much got only jewelry. Did you get anything besides jewelry? No. No. Just okay. Like, we all know how much I love um, next level statement earrings. So, these are the first pair. I can't wait to wear these. These are going to be painful, all of them, because they're all clipped and no, they're very you heavy. Uh, uh, put those things on. This is the second pair. What are the chances that these are real for? I have I have no idea. Like I'm not very well educated on that level. I'm gonna test it out. Hopefully. These are the other pair. Why did I get five different earrings? Because you like them. I do. Look how cute and adorable. Let me see. Oh yeah. I love it's them. like a frame like one yeah literally it's like a picture frame yeah and then these are the last pair that's the setup for the there is happy i don't know how to do that oh there you uh. go <laughs> i don't know how to do that i've never done that i didn't even know it has uh, that first time for everything yeah so those are all the jewelries that i got where did i put my ring oh it's here um now i am hungry and i'm moody so we're gonna call it a day 
Yes, until I eat something, right. then I'll have a little bit more mood.